Hi there, and welcome to this tutorial on how to submit your podcast to iTunes, Stitcher Radio, Podbean, and Blueberry. So if your account is with Libsyn, that's short for a liberated syndication up here, it'll look like this. Okay, so if you've signed into Libsyn and you click on Destination, your screen will look basically like this. If you come down to this classic feed, this is the RSS or URL that you're going to want to be copying and pasting into different podcatchers, as we call them. iTunes is the largest and most popular, and so we'll start there. So I have just copied this URL in preparation for iTunes, but if we open up iTunes, we're going to come over here to podcast event and then we're going to come down to submit a podcast okay. we'll sign in with our Apple ID once we've signed in you can see that I already have one podcast submitted but to add another I'll click on this plus sign and then I can paste control or command C the URL that we copied from Libsyn. Then I can click on validate. It'll double check that this is legitimate. It would probably tell me that you've already submitted this. And then once it's validated, you'll click the submit button over here on the right. And that will submit your podcast to iTunes and they will get back to you and publish your show within 24 to 72 hours assuming that everything is on the up and up. To submit the same podcast to Stitcher Radio, you can open up a new tab in Google and type Stitcher Radio Content Provider. Stitcher Radio Content Provider. And that search will bring back the top option Stitcher Radio Content Providers. And open that up. Actually, if you scroll down, once you have an account, you can just click on Login. But you'll see the Supply Today, and you'll need to put in this information, create an account, click the Terms of Service, take care of their CAPTCHA security here, click Continue. Once you've created an account, at the top here, you'll see this option to add shows. And when you click on add shows, you'll get this screen. And you can tell them your show name, and you can paste again your show in this space here. You'll notice, well, you're seeing a little bit of history. When I first started my podcast, it had uh, Clergy for Hire was the name of that podcast. So our RSS feed hasn't changed even though the name of our show has. So once you paste that there and put your show name in, choose your language, choose your category, subcategory, and I'm just grabbing some here that don't fit necessarily fill out this information. You can add your Twitter handle, your Facebook page, and some keywords that describe who you are or something about your podcast. Terms of service, you'll go down here, scroll through that, and again click on these terms. When you agree, click on continue, and then they'll get back to you when your show has been approved. Then it your show will automatically be published every episode. When you send it from Liberated Syndication, it'll automatically be posted to Stitcher.com, just like you submitted it to iTunes. To go to uh, Podbean, if you go to Podbean.com, scroll all the way down to the bottom of their home page, this is the bottom of the Podbean.com homepage. 
So if you see down here at the bottom under resources, whoops, right below that, submit your podcast. And if you click this button, you'll be able to create an account and submit that same URL that we've done before. Are you catching on to the pattern? So if you go over to uh, Blueberry, they have this address for blueberry.com, adpodcast.php. Then you can create your account, sign in, and submit your URL to them. So each time you create an episode, it will automatically be sent to all of those places. That's how you submit your podcast URL, RSS feed, to iTunes, Stitcher, Podbean, and Blueberry.